Hey everybody, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be going over Rocket Lab and their new launch complex that they've opened up in Virginia, specifically on what this is going to mean for Rocket Lab as a company and for all of their shareholders. Probably the most obvious advantage for them is that they will have another launch pad to launch from. At the moment, they've only been operating two that are located in the same complex over in New Zealand. So with this third launch complex, opens up a new launch pad for them to be able to launch the rockets from. Rocket Lab says that with this added launch complex, they'll be able to launch over 130 missions per year in total across all of their launch pads. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be able to do that once this thing becomes operational. This is just the, to this is just the maximum capacity that all three of their launch pads are going to have. And with this increased launch capability per year, Rocket Lab is going to be able to operate with slightly lower inventories because these rockets are actually going to be getting launched rather than just sitting on the factory floor waiting for a flight from Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand. Now undoubtedly the biggest benefit for Rocket Lab with this new US based launch complex is that they'll be more capable of launching missions for US government and military customers. Very often with the US government and especially the military they don't want these launches happening out of the country they want them happening in US soil so with Rocket Lab's new launch complex being located in the US, this just makes it a whole lot easier for them to win a lot of these government and military contracts, because up until now, Rocket Lab has only been able to launch from their existing launch pads in New Zealand. Now I did mention just a bit earlier that Rocket Lab said that they're going to be able to launch over 130 missions per year with this added launch pad, but they were actually already able to do almost all of that with these original two launch pads that they've already had in New Zealand. They said that this new launch complex in the US is actually going to be able to increase their launch capabilities by only about 12 missions per year. So it sounds like Rocket Lab is aiming to make this launch complex much more focused on government and military missions rather than commercial missions. It sounds like those will still mostly be launching from their New Zealand complex. Now even though those 12 launches per year might sound a bit underwhelming, Another factor to consider here is that Rocket Lab will be building their upcoming Neutron rocket at the Wallops Flight Facility where this new launch pad is located. But Neutron and Electron are totally different launch vehicles and they can't really launch on the same launch pads. So it sounds like Rocket Lab will be building a third launch complex very close to the recently built Launch Complex 2. Now even though Rocket Lab says that this Launch Complex 2 is only going to be able to launch about 12 Electron missions per year, there may end up being significantly more, I mean there probably will be significantly more launches coming from this Launch Complex 3, which is where Neutron is supposed to be launching from. Now for those who don't know, Neutron is Rocket Lab's upcoming reusable launch vehicle. It's, it's got a much larger size and it's going to be able to deliver payloads for a much cheaper price per kilogram than what Electron's been able to do. So there's going to be a lot more demand to use Neutron. So this is why I'd expect a lot more Rocket Lab launches from Wallops Flight Facility once Neutron is, you know, finished development. Because it doesn't sound like this Launch Complex 2 is anything too crazy as far as, um, you know, the quantity of launches that Rocket Lab is going to be able to launch per year. Now just because there's a fairly low quantity of customers that are going to be able to fly out of this new launch pad doesn't necessarily mean that this is really a, a bad launch pad for Rocket Lab to have. Again, most of these customers are government and military, it sounds like. So Rocket Lab's going to be able to charge higher prices for these launches and end up having higher margins on the missions flying out of this launch complex. And in case you weren't aware, Rocket Lab's first launch from this new launch complex will be flying this upcoming Monday, January 23rd. So if you're interested in checking that out to see how the launch goes, Rocket Lab will be live streaming that on their YouTube channel. And if you want to know more about Rocket Lab and if their stock is a good investment, be sure to check out my video on Rocket Lab's quarter three earnings, where I go over all of the latest information about Rocket Lab and all of the latest things that they're up to. That's it for today, and I'll see all of you in the next video.